How are you rationalizing and looking at flows, uh, moving northbound flows, essentially, uh, flows into the air shares market increasing over the course of, of the last few weeks, the A shares versus H shares divergence, that gap widening, what do you make of it? Well, I think that gap is probably less about northbound and southbound and, you know, really more about the fact that foreign investors who are still the major drivers of the Hong Kong offshore market became much more worried about China growth near term and much more worried about China regulations in the month of July versus the onshore investors. And for, furthermore, with some of the FX adjustments, um, clearly, you know, the sentiment was uh, weaker versus the first half of the year when RMB was consistently uh, appreciating. And I think that has as usual, more of an impact on the offshore market versus the onshore. In the onshore market, you know, you're more insulated and plus, you know, with maybe expectations about property price uh, accelerating or appreciating being uh, maybe dialed down versus before, you know, capital has uh, been stickier in terms of the equity and uh, onshore debt markets. Um, going forward, I would say that the um, concerns about China's uh, very countercyclical uh, policy tightening will probably likely alleviate versus the last couple of months as that inflection point in terms of policy has happened. Um, the concerns about the policy uh, uncertainty on regulation will continue, but I think they will start to alleviate to some extent as well as people start to digest and many things have uh, priced in or overly priced in in some cases the potential negative uh, impacts on your term and medium term earnings. So I do see that you know there might be a reconvergence of the two sides over time, particularly if the global growth is still robust, as we talked about earlier, and China's macro momentum continues to be okay. In that case, I think um, the Hong Kong market can catch up with A-share or uh, DM.